Today we're going to be installing a front skid plate on the front of this 5th gen 4Runner. Some of the best protection that you can get is adding a good sturdy skid plate underneath your vehicle. This one's made by RCI Off-Road. Thanks for RCI Off-Road for sending this in. Also big thanks for Trail 4R to supply the 4Runner. Um, this skid plate down here is a quarter inch aluminum skid plate. They also make a 3 16th steel version as well. You can get them powder coated black. This one is powder coated clear, but it's a cool aluminum color. So I like that a lot. The install today is going to be pretty simple for this front. Um, it's just going to be take the skid plate off and bolt in the new skid plate. We do have all the other skid plates going back. We have a full set, but I'm going to make separate videos for those. So make sure you check back in the future. So step one is to get the vehicle on jack stands or we put it on stilts today just to lift it up to make more room underneath. Um, and now we're going to unbolt that skid plate. All right, to pull off this front TRD skid plate, um, it's four 14 millimeters. We got two right here and then two back here. Also on our rig, we did the diff drop so we have additional spacers on the undersides of the skid plate. So we just got to make sure that those are all going to fall out and don't hit you in the face when you're working underneath here. All right, so we're taking this off here. We've got two 12 millimeters right here in the front that are you're going to need an extension to grab. Um, and then we've got two 12 millimeters back here. It looks like there's probably a, maybe your diff drain area right here with another set of two 12s, and you don't need to pull those off. So RCI supplies all the hardware for you. So all the hardware that we just took off, we don't need to use. Now there are six flat washers, and then there are four 30 millimeter bolts. Um, those are brass looking. So those are gonna go here and here for these tall guys. And then two of them also go up in the front um, underneath that front cross member. Now the longer ones that are silver, um, these ones get the nylon machine. So they're gonna get a washer on it. They're gonna go up through the skid plate like this. And then they're gonna get this nylon washer spacer on the backside and it's gonna sit like that. And so there's two of those also. So that's gonna go front and back. Right in there, and that's how this skid plate's going to get all underneath the vehicle. So when you pull off the stock skid plate, you have these tube supports. This is where the one of the bolts is going to go in, right here. Okay. So we're going to start with the middle bolts, the ones that go up to this cross member, and those are just the normal brass bolts that are provided. Oh, and I'm going to need that ex long ass extension. So I guess I'll go up first. There we go. Ready? Yeah. Set up. Close. Hold on. There we go. Right there. Thanks. All right. We'll just put a few threads on. Here you go. All right. So the way that you install this with the nylon lock is you're going to put the bolt with the washer up through the skid plate, and then we're going to add the nylon up to the top and then that screws right up into the cross member. There we go. The RCI skid plate perfectly fits up against the frame tube brackets here on the front. Um, and then we can just zip these in. We can get our torque wrench and we're going to 22 foot pounds factory spec to torque these down. We're super happy with this RCI off-road skid plate. Everything bolted up really, really well and right into place. Um, this skid plate, this front skid plate here is the KDSS version. So just make sure that if you're gonna be ordering from RCI that you're gonna get that KDSS or the non-KDSS versions. Uh, the next thing coming down the line is we're gonna do the transmission skid plate next. That's right on behind it in our series here of the full skids. So if you want to continue watching, it'll, the video will be right up there. Also hammer down on that subscribe button. And don't forget, keep crawling.